us. We'll go from here, okay? I'll have to make a note of that. All right, to the whiteboard view. So for quarter day, we're gonna go a little bit longer time duration, a couple different holds here. Um, well, one hold and um, some oblique work. We'll go 90 seconds on, 20 seconds off, and we're gonna go two rounds. So um, I know a lot of us were able to get our hands on a dumbbell or kettlebell this weekend. So we can utilize that for our waiter's hold. Again, the waiter's hold is one arm overhead, just reaching into that good overhead position. We'll go 45 seconds on one side, 45 seconds on the other. I have a dumbbell and a kettlebell here, so I'll kind of demonstrate how to do both. Um, Primarily with the kettlebell, it's about kind of getting the kettlebell in the right position, so I'll show that. Um, if we have the plates, we are just gonna do a 90 second overhead plate hold. So good challenge there, long time. And then 45 seconds each side of a side bend will be our second movement. I'll demonstrate that as well in a second here. But first, the waiter's hold. So, like I said, I have a dumbbell and a kettlebell. It's essentially the same, but a little bit different. So just like any time we go overhead, we wanna make sure the ribs are down. Belly is raised. I go 45 seconds on this side. Switch over 45 seconds on the other. Notice that when I go overhead, I don't get way overextended like this. Brace the belly, reach up into our dumbbell. On the kettlebell, we're a little bit newer to that, just kind of get it to the backside of the wrist, and then almost a little bit easier there to get into that overhead position. So that's our waiter's hold. Second movement side bends start nice and stacked. Should feel our opposite oblique. As we go down, we're gonna go 45 seconds of reps on one side, 45 seconds on the other. Um, and then if we have a plate, we'll just obviously use the plate for the side bend as well. So um, I'll let us get our things situated here. If you want to maybe practice getting to that good overhead position, I'll set the clock up and then we'll get going here shortly. Okay, guys. So uh, I just have the clock set up for 90 seconds running continuous. So at the 45 second mark, I will let us know when to switch on either the waiter's hold or the side bend. We'll get it started here, starting on our waiter's hold. We're going in 10. And go ahead, guys. So once we get that overhead, elbows locked out, then we can kind of focus on keeping our ribs down. We should feel our belly whenever we go overhead. Jill, that's perfect. Nice Srihar. And stay reaching up into our dumbbell or kettlebell. 10 more seconds on this arm. Two. One, go ahead and switch, guys. Twenty more seconds to go here. Sometimes it's helpful to put our hand right below our rib cage. We should be able to feel our um, abdomen kind of turned on there a little bit. Our postural muscles working. We got 10 seconds. And go ahead and rest. We'll keep our dumbbell or kettlebell handy. Uh, 20 seconds of rest, then we'll start with the side bend. Same thing here, I'll let us know when to switch at the halfway. Three, two, one, side bends, go ahead. Oh, Srihar, we're doing side bends with our kettlebell. I got side strain from last week, so. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Push-ups is fine then. Just a movement that doesn't, uh, doesn't bother our oblique. Five more seconds. 
and then we'll make the switch. Two, one, switch hands. Final 10 seconds here. And good there, we'll take a short rest before round two. Okay, getting ready to go on our second round of that waiter's hold. Two, one, go ahead. Again, get to that good overhead position, actively reaching. Nice, Nikki, that looks really solid. That's 30 seconds, keep reaching here, we got 15 more. Three, two, one, go ahead and switch guys. Get our other arm here. Nice job, you guys. Keep reaching. We've got 15 seconds. And good on our waiter's hold. We'll take a short rest and we'll finish up with our side bend. All right, side bend. Two, one, go. This movement doesn't have to be done crazy fast, just at a tempo where we feel our opposite oblique the whole time. As we get back to that, neutral or start position. Getting ready to switch here. Go ahead, switch hands. Twenty more seconds. All right, nice job there, guys. We can set our dumbbells or kettlebells off to the side for a sec. We'll bring it back into the whiteboard view and we'll talk strength. Right. So for today, we're going to do kind of two separate strength pieces here. Our first one is going to be our lower body piece. So we'll go three sets, one minute of gobble, goblet reverse lunge. Uh, that can be done with either the dumbbell or the kettlebell. One minute of a goblet squat, and then one minute of rest. So with that one minute of rest following both of our lower body movements, really do try to push for working as much of the 60 seconds as I can. Um, we'll do three sets of that. We'll take a short rest. We'll reset into two sets. 30 seconds of a single arm dumbbell or kettlebell row um, on one side, and then we'll go to the other, and then we'll flip the dumbbell or kettlebell kind of the long way. Uh, I'll demonstrate what I mean by that. You're gonna be holding both heads, and then we'll do a two arm dumbbell row. Um, we'll rest 30 seconds on that one, two sets. So just to go over the movements here, the goblet reverse lunge, we're all pretty familiar with that, but we do wanna focus on maintaining a good uh, upright position. So if I were using my kettlebell, I could just hold it at the chest, reverse lunge, one minute, kind of in an alternating fashion there, and then into one minute, 
of our squat. Okay, we'll do three sets of that. For our second portion of strength, we're gonna start on the single arm dumbbell row. So it might be nice to have something handy to get into our good rowing position. So I can here maybe utilize box, bench, college, anything like that. 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. And then I would hold my head with both hands, two arm dumbbell row, pulling into the chest there. Okay. On all three of those, make sure we have a nice, flat, tight back there. Um, just always practicing good habits on that. So I'll let us warm up all of our movements and then we'll get started here in a couple minutes. We'll get going in strength in about a minute here. For simplicity's sake, I'll just have the clock set up in a bunch of one minute intervals. Um, I'll talk us through our rotation so you guys don't need to worry about anything like that. I'll tell us when we're working and when we're resting. All right, guys, we'll get it started here. First movement is one minute of goblet reverse lunges. We're going to 10. Two, one, go ahead guys. Again, done in an alternating fashion here. Just make sure we keep our torso nice and upright. Perfect. Fifteen more seconds of our reverse lunge, and we're gonna go right into the squat. Three, two, one. Let's go ahead and transition to our goblet squat. Again, we're trying to work the whole time here as we get a full minute of rest. Everybody's squats look perfect though. And rest, nice job there, guys. Some of us are holding on to the dumbbell the whole time. That's tough. Okay, we'll rest a minute here, and we'll start right back at the top with our goblet reverse lunge on round two. Okay, we'll get going about 20 seconds here on our second round. Like I said, we'll start with the reverse lunges. More of the same, everybody looked really good in round one. Carry that over into round two. We'll get it going. Three, two, one, go ahead, lunges. Nice job, guys. 20 more seconds on our lunge before we transition to our squat.
and squat. Go ahead. Fifteen more seconds here, a few more squats, and we get to rest. Nice job there, guys. That's round two. We've got one more round of that before we transition to some upper body work. All right, 20 more seconds here of rest before we start our third and final round. Again, just more of the same here. We're looking really solid. We'll start with those lunges. Three, two, one. Go ahead, guys. Nice job, nice and steady here, working our way through those lunges. And let's go ahead and switch to the squat, one minute there. It's our last minute of our lower body strength work. Ten more seconds here on the squats. And good there, guys. Take some time here. Grab a quick drink if you need it. I'm going to reset the clock to our 30-second uh, intervals now for our second part of strength. I'll briefly recap that, and then we'll get going. So clock is set up in a bunch of 30 second intervals here. We'll start with 30 seconds of our single arm row on one side, transition to our other arm, right into two arms. So we'll grab either our plate on both sides, our dumbbell on both sides, whatever we're using, and then two arms pulling into our chest there. On that single arm dumbbell row, like I said, might be nice to have a bench, chair, whatever, to set up in our, I guess, tripod position. But we'll get it started here. 30 seconds of our single arm dumbbell row. We're going in 10. Three, two, one, and go. Okay, we want to think pulling that elbow in and back. We should feel our lat there. Two, one, and switch arms.
Okay, getting ready to transition to the two-arm row. Three, two, one, go ahead. We have 30 seconds rest following this, so let's try to go the whole time. A lot of time under tension for our backside here too. Tough on the hamstrings, low back. Good there, guys. We'll rest 30 seconds. We have one more round of that. Just trying to accumulate a lot of quality reps here. And we have a super fun movement for conditioning, the single arm thruster. Only half as fun as the two arm thruster. That's my bad 6 a.m. joke. All right, guys, we'll go single arm row. Go ahead, round two. And switch arms. Almost through here. We got one minute. Ten more seconds before we go to our two arm row. Two, one, final thirty seconds, guys. And good there, guys. Okay, go ahead and uh, relax, grab a quick drink. I'll pull back up the whiteboard view. So I'll explain the workout here. I'll let you guys warm up some of the movements, get things set up, ready to go. Maybe we need to set up our machine or our uh, running track or some, anything like that. Today's workout, three rounds. Bunch of different options here at the top, if you can see on the whiteboard. So pick what one, I guess, applies to you. 400 meter run is equivalent to a 500 meter row or ski, if we have an option on that. Bike would be a 0.8 mile bike. And then step ups is 40 step ups. Into 20 single arm, dumbbell or kettlebell thrusters, either works. You can switch however you'd like. Maybe you want to go 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Maybe you have one way stronger leg and shoulder than the other. Um, you can do all 20 on one side. So totally up to you, you can switch as needed. And then 20 sit ups. This is kind of our recovery exercise before we push back into our uh, cyclical work and then probably the hardest movement of the workout, that single arm dumbbell thruster. Now, I'll demonstrate the thruster and the sit-up and I'll let you guys practice those. So on the thruster and the sit-up, or sorry, on the thruster, it's just one arm. Kettlebell or dumbbell is gonna be resting on the shoulder. So from here, I would need to get my kettlebell or dumbbell to the shoulder, squat, to press, I think it's beneficial to kind of have this opposite arm a little bit out front and to the side is offset from the side, looks as such. Working my way through 20 reps there. On the sit up, we do our butterfly sit up. So feet together, arms come overhead. At the top, just make sure we touch our feet so that hip crease is closed for 20 reps there. I'll give us a few minutes to warm up here. Uh, I have an idea of a cap, but I'm going to go consult with uh, Brendan and Alex to make sure that we're on the same page, and I'll let you guys know before we get started. All right, we'll take a few more minutes to practice here. Again, getting our machines ready to go or, you know, scoping out that running, running track.
We're gonna go cap 15 on the workout. So, all right. Jill, are you gonna use your bike or are you gonna do step ups? I'm gonna do a bike. Okay, awesome. Um, as we're kind of finishing up warm up here, let me just recap all of our kind of cyclical movements. So, 400 meter run. If we have a rower, we're looking at 500 meters, bike 0.8. And then step ups is 40. All of those are equivalent. That's how we'll start the workout. 20 single arm dumbbell thrusters and then 20 sit ups. Um, we will get started here. 15 minute cap. First round should be nice and steady. Don't really try to jack the heart rate up too much. If we feel good into round two, we can start to slightly increase. And then round three, if we feel good there, that's when we can really push the pace on the cyclical movement and the thruster. We'll get started here. 15 minute cap. We're going in 10, guys. Three, two, one, and go. Nice job here again, guys. Nice steady pace through round one, kind of feel out all the movements, keep our heart rate under control. We're 90 seconds in here, so getting close to finishing up our first portion of the workout. After that, we'll transition into 20 single arm dumbbell thrusters, full squat to press every time. Nice, Nikki, that's perfect. Again, we can use that opposite hand to help counterbalance us a little bit there. Perfect, Kayla. Once you get to that dumbbell thruster, you can, again, switch however you would like. Maybe set to five, maybe set to 10. Or like I said, if we're just really strong on one side, we're going all 20. After our 20 thrusters, we have 20 sit-ups. On the sit-up, just a nice steady pace. Use this as our recovery exercise before we go into our second round. Good, nice and steady on the sit up. After that, we'll work our way into round two. Approaching the four minute mark here. That's a perfect pace that allows us to finish with plenty of time.
Nice job, guys. Chipping away at our second round here. Nice, Nikki. Good, trying to use our legs to drive that dumbbell. Take a quick breath at the top, keep our heart rate down. Nice, you're laying that away. Again, once we get into that third and final round, if we feel good, that's when we can start to really increase the pace. Nice, Jill. Great thrusters there. Perfect street. Good speed. Just past the seven minute mark. Working our way through 20 sit-ups and we're into our last round. Nice job on our sit-up, keeping the quality high there, making sure that hip crease closes at the top, that's perfect. Into our third and final round, now we can really push. Just gotta get through our machine or run through that dumbbell and then we can hammer out that last set of sit-ups. Nice, Nikki, keep pushing here, almost through. Nice Trihar, nice Kayla. Stay moving on those step ups. Keep chipping away at them. Nice Kayla, right to that dumbbell now. Nice, Joe, right to it.
Nice job, Nikki. Once you get to those sit-ups, every rep you do gets you closer to the finish. So just really push through those last 20. Coming up on the 12-minute mark. Nice to that away. Good, good group out there this morning. Good, everybody's good. Nice job, Kayla. Nice job, Jill. Keep pushing through those thrusters, guys. Nice, Sriar. Still really good speed there. That's perfect. Final 20 reps here. Yeah. Well, chili. Yeah. That's true. Go stand in front of a salt bike. It's gonna get windblown. Nice, Shalane, that away. Like 1327, if you're trying to check. Nice, Shrihar, that away. There it is, strong finish. All right, nice job this morning, everybody. Could have made the cap a little bit more aggressive, I guess. You guys are just way too fit. Um, we are gonna start in a stretch. Um, I'm gonna let you guys choose that your hip stretch of choice, either pigeon or lizard. Uh, we did do quite a bit of squatting and you know uh, aerobic work and whatnot, so we'll stretch out the hips. We're gonna start with 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other, um, and we'll go from there. I'll kind of let us know when to switch here. You can get a few extra seconds in here as well. We can go ahead and switch legs there. Um, thanks for being flexible this morning, guys. Um, obviously, we were planning on having that 5 a.m. class, some things uh, outside of our control um, as far as getting people out on the, you know, driving here and whatnot. We did, just wanted to play it on the safe side. So thanks for being flexible and adapt into the Zoom. Uh, the next couple of days of weather look good. So we do plan on going back to normal, scheduling with the 5 a.m., the 6 a.m. outdoors. Um, so if you'd like to join in on those, those plan beyond. Um, I think Thursday we'll kind of be in a similar boat as far as updating you guys with weather and whatnot. But other than that, um, Friday and Saturday look good. Be looking for some kind of, you know, announcement. Maybe we're, we're trying to figure out a way to maybe uh, get people together to do a Saturday class. Um, that might be in the future here because we've been doing just primarily Zoom on Saturdays. Um, if we're able to hack that out this week, we'll let you guys know. But uh, like I said, back to hopefully normal scheduling there tomorrow. Thanks for being here this morning. Um, other than that, that's it for me. Have a good one, guys. Enjoy your Monday. First day of June, too. Bye, guys. Thank you. Yeah, have a good one, Jelaine. Bye, guys. Thank you. Yeah, have a good one, Shrihar.